Hey there, friend, how are you? Yeah, welcome to my gaming store. Nope, we are very new. We've only been in business about three months now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are trying to compete with the big dogs. But uh, we're staying busy. We're doing all right. How are you doing? Cool. And you're pretty local? Okay. And uh, what can I help you with today? Okay, just trying to get into gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I love customers like that. I can definitely get you a lot of good information. Kind of steer you in the right direction. Help set you up with the perfect bundle for you and your family. Okay, let me just get your uh, first and last name. Get that in the system here. beginner gamer just kind of getting into it all right yeah i'm just listing your preferences in here and what are the main things you're kind of looking for in gaming okay just kind of relaxing focus your thoughts somewhere else Keep your kids entertained as well. <laughs> nice. I know how hard that can be. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to store that in there. And then I will open a cart for you. And we can just kind of throw your bundled items in there as well. And give you a first time 10% discount. All right. Well, before we even go over games and consoles and controllers, let me just get you set up with some awesome sound reducing headphones that kind of help you immerse yourself into these uh, games. So lastly, what uh, kind of budget are you kind of in as far as your setup? take a look at these kind of middle of the pack gamer headsets here and they're kind of like traditional headsets but they just have quite a bit more padding off of the ear they kind of cup your ear a little bit better they have some inner meshing in here to kind of create a little bit better airflow so you don't have sweat accumulating and then a lot more padding up here more adjusting features and then you kind of have a microphone here that you can extend out you speak into and your volume and your muting right here so you just want to have a good comfortable headset on that doesn't pinch anywhere let's go ahead yeah let's go ahead and try these guys on should be kind of hard to hear some of these noises going on out here with those on. But that's what they're supposed to do. And one Those aren't too bad. They look like they might be just a touch 
small. We can just step up one notch. They're only about ten dollars more. But uh, these ones have a little bit more padding, and they are a little bit bigger on the ears. I think these ones will fit just a touch better. And like I said, they're only $10 more, but you get quite a bit more padding in them. And you can see that the ear position area is quite a bit larger, a little bit more mesh in there. Alright, so try these guys on as well. since you're a beginner let's stay away from the pc gaming you kind of need like a robust um, graphics card a lot more memory it's a little bit more complex we'll just go the simple route with a uh, console so you got the headset you like um, why don't we find a controller that you like quite a bit um, the two main controllers are the Xbox One controller and the PS4 controller. You can also get a Nintendo Switch, but let's go ahead and just try uh, these two sets of controllers here first. So this one is the Xbox One controller. Yeah, so the Xbox One controller is just a little bit bigger, a little bulkier, a little heavier than the PS4 but still a very good controller. A lot of the same features and can still fit smaller hands. Um, you know, so the rest of the family can use these as well. The PS4 is a little bit more compact, a little bit better for smaller hands, but the Xbox One controller has been downsized to just a touch as well, and it works really good too. So yeah, these are all set up pretty much the same way with your two analog sticks here. On the Xbox One, the analog stick on the left is a little bit higher than the one on the right. And your directional pad, your D-pad, is down here, right underneath your left analog. Your two top triggers. menu and your start and then your main buttons your X Y B and A yeah so you want to give this one a good feel this is probably the next most important thing is just having a controller that you really like you really got a good feel for so play with that one just a touch here This one is the PS4, and you can see it's pretty much set up the same exact way. 
except for on this one you do have the analog sticks that are adjacent to one another. And the D-pad, directional pad, is on the top here. So it's a little bit easier for those 2D left to right cross the screen type games. And this one is a little bit smaller. And the PS4 controller has one extra feature. And it's kind of like a mouse pad type thing for your finger here. It's really good for the kids. You know, if they have like a coloring game, it can also be used as like a mouse cursor on your screen for selecting certain things. Just a nice extra little feature here. And it's also can be used as a button as well. And then your select and start, your main power button. And this one lights up, as you can see right there. And the different lights will show you different uh, things as far as what's going on with the controller, as far as charging, and as far as pairing. Alright, yeah, so try those two out. They come in numerous different skins. Like this one is a Halo skin, which is kind of green. We got a blue one here for the PS4. We also got some skins like Spider-Man skins, uh, Avenger skins in just different colors. I think we even have a couple sports team themed controllers as well. Yeah, no, take your time. Just get a good feel of all the buttons. Got quite a few controllers here you can test out. They even come with some extra joystick buttons that you can use. I can give you a bag of these. You got a couple extra uh, replacement buttons and then the tops of those analog joysticks because those get worn down quite a bit as you gain quite a bit. Especially if you got little ones playing these as well. So yeah, I can definitely throw in a couple of those. what you're thinking. Okay. Um, the PS4s, they can charge with a USB port. Um, and then the uh, Xbox Ones, they have a little battery station back here. And we also sell kind of docking stations that you can use for either of these. This is the Xbox One docking station. And those are your contact points right there. Yep, they just sit there. Sit there overnight and charge, and then you're good to go the next day. And then the PS4 one is just a little bit more compact. You have your charging points right there, if you can see those. And then that just hooks into an outlet in the wall. And then those will change colors as well when everything is ready to go. Okay, you're kind of leaning towards the Xbox. All right. Yeah, no worries. I mean, a lot of the, these two main consoles play all the same same games. They just have a couple slight variations, so. I would definitely go with the controller that you like the best. Okay. And any particular color you want? Let me see. No, that one is not in 
and stock. It doesn't look like. We do have the Spider-Man one, the Forza Motorsport, which is this bluish one here. The Halo green one. Okay. Cool, I added that. Get you this docking station as well. some of these uh, analog stick cover buttons as well. Okay, now let me just kind of search family games. Relaxing games. Yeah, I knew that The Sims was going to be the top one. And that is just a uh, build your own city game, kind of create your own town, raise your own family in there. Okay, and then you kind of want some more family oriented ones here. Okay, it looks like we have about five or six for me to go grab and for you to look at, so hold on just one sec, I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, so based on your search, we got quite a few games here to kind of look at. Uh, there was two games that were PlayStation 4, in case you ever go that route in the future. Um, the Spider-Man game here is a really good option. Open World, New York City, Spider-Man, and you pretty much have free range over all of New York, and you can either follow the story mission, or you can just explore New York, doing all sorts of side missions. This is definitely a pretty easy one, fairly informative for beginners. It kind of helps you relax a little bit. Yeah, so this would be definitely a good starter game uh, if you ever do go the PS4 route. And then the other PS4 game that did come up on that search was uh, Raymond Legends. And this one is very similar to like a Mario Brothers game from Nintendo. Where it's kind of 2D, left to right, scrolling across the screen. And you're just kind of maneuvering, jumping over obstacles, and usually have to fight like a boss at the end. But uh, the 
this one is definitely rated very highly. I think it was like a 9.5. And it's like a never-ending game, too. You're always constantly unlocking new levels, new bosses. And it can keep you and your family entertained for quite some time. Okay, but let's look at some of these Xbox games. For the little ones, there's a lot of these Lego type games. These ones are fairly easy. They're a little bit more open world. Um, this one right here is Batman 3. But they have all sorts of them. They have one for Jurassic Park, one for Indiana Jones, one for the Avengers, one for superheroes. They do DC and Marvel comics. But this is uh, quite the franchise, all these Lego uh, games here. Great for the family. And it's a two-player split screen and pretty easy to learn how to play. Okay, yeah, you can definitely think you want that one. Yeah, I think the kids will like this one for sure. this one in a limited edition case too as well. It's kind of like metallic. And this was a very highly rated game too. Might not be as relaxing as you want, but there's a lot of cool battle in here, a lot of cool graphics, and it's, it's fairly easy for beginners to kind of pick up. But yeah, like I was saying, we should probably include Skyrim, which is an open world fantasy, The Sims, where you can build your own city, and a couple other games like that as well. Like here's another open world game. This one's definitely not for the kids though. This one is Red Dead Redemption 2. And you are a cowboy in the Wild Wild West, robbing banks, saving people, riding horses around everywhere, and kind of hunting animals and stuff. And you can easily get lost in this game for hours. Very relaxing. Not too graphic, but uh, definitely not for the kids. Alright, and then some more family-oriented games. Uh, Rock Band here. This one is for the 360, but we do have plenty of versions for the Xbox One. But you would have to invest a little bit more in this one, because you need the components. Um, there's a guitar that you would need for this one, and a drum set. It also has a microphone for singing. Uh, this is the guitar right here. We have these for sale, and we have the drum sets in the back. But these are kind of set up just like a controller is, where you have your D-pad down here. Your main power button. A little whammy bar here. Kind of fun to toy around with. I mean, it is, it is pretty much set up like a Fender guitar. And then you kind of use this as your pick. You just plug this guy into your console, get the game rolling, and then you're going to use these. You can kind of see that they're color-coordinated buttons up here. And you match them with the lights as they scroll up and down your screen. And the more you match, the better your sound is, and the better your song is. So 
So yeah, this is definitely a party favorite. just 99 to add this bundle on as well. And you have to get the one compatible with the Xbox One. Okay. Yeah, let me add that bundle for you as well. And then another game it came out with was the Connect game. If you really want to splurge, Connect is kind of like a motion sensor type device that you plug in and then you can play these games like this one's a sports game so the whole family can do this one soccer tennis um, I think there's skiing on here and golf mm -hmm. yeah it just kind of follows uh, your motion as you're moving yeah I can show you that for sure and all the consoles kind of have their own uh, version of these uh, sensors. You have the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. And then they have little controllers as well that can follow your movement. But the Kinect, I don't think you need that. Here's a Kinect I just kind of have lying around here. It's kind of what it looks like. I can open it up for you. But this is the device that you just kind of plug into your TV. And then it kind of measures out like a 12 by 12 section of your living room. And that's where you can do all your activities at. Got a couple extra connectors in here. And an extender USB. Extender HDMI, but this is kind of the device here, and they all operate kind of the same way for all these consoles. And this is for the Xbox Microsoft one. focuses right down in front of your TV, kind of where you're gaming at. And then they kind of all operate the same way. They all have a main camera here that can just kind of uh, picks you out in the room. And then a motion sensor that follows any type of movement. And you can set this up to your body size. And then it has a sensor for any type of external other controller that you're going to use to kind of follow the movements. You can tilt this up back and forth and kind of focus it in the area where you'll be doing that and it will just follow you as you run and jump and you will see that activity on the screen as well. So these are pretty cool because you can also kind of get some exercise as well as you're doing some gaming. Yeah, if you added that, you would be spending quite a bit 
today, but you would definitely be outfitted for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, you want me to add that one too? Wow, you're going to single-handedly keep us in business, aren't you? I appreciate that. of the games and then since you are buying so many bundles let me add a $50 gift card in here on the house and you can use that to download any sort of game that you want on your console some of those other games I was talking about okay let me kind of straighten up here and then I will get you ready to go I have you just about all boxed up. Okay. Thanks for letting me clean up here. I think we have everything up in the system. All your preferences saved for next time. Go ahead and get you a grand total and ring you up. Just have my sales associate uh, collect all that stuff for you and help you out. Um, let me also throw in a finger donut here. This is a 60 pound one. You can kind of exercise with this. This is another great stress reliever and then it kind of helps strengthen your hands so that you can game even more. And then this one lights up as well the same thing just some stress relieving knickknacks that we have in the shop here that you are welcome to take